Metaphiles, the podcast that talks, talks to, to you. A little bit of drool came off my bottom lip when I was doing those runs. I missed it. Mm. Well, they probably, can't probably, hear that. Probably the camera couldn't pick it up. Definitely the microphone yeah. couldn't pick it up. But I was singing so hard that I started to drool. That happened to Michael Jackson a lot. Yeah. That's Called him Sloppy, <laughs> sloppy Mike. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. I am Zach. Jay. This is the podcast that talks to you. Episode 83. Uh-huh. Yes, it is. It is 83. 83. And we're talking divas. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. That's why I was singing. Like a diva. Yeah. And so well. Huh? I've been reading about divas all day and it's, it's giving me. How to sing like a diva for dummies. Yeah. Go. Sure. Let's see Zach as a diva. We already are. <laughs> Easy. Mm hmm. Provocative. I, you know, I don't shy away from controversy. Controversy. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. My my haters fuel me. Diva Zach mispronounces word. I speak the way I speak. On TMZ. This right. is how I've always spoken. And if you don't like it, too bad. Have you ever considered not speaking like that? I would never consider such a thing. Do you like that you speak that way? I like everything that I do. Even the things that, you know... Might get you in trouble. I. I. Uh-huh. So you just push those thoughts away and. I don't remember what we were discussing. What about when you see them in the news reported by TMZ? TMZ. More like. Not for me. <laughs> Uh huh. What does your uh, manager have to say about all this? He says, I'm a star. <laughs> you are. That's true. Yeah, I'm a star. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to do that anymore. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I thought you liked everything that you do. That character is retired. Mm. <coughs> I'm me now, and I'm Zach, and I can say the word controversy. Mm. <laughs> and I do say it. That's something that divas never do, is just retire. Mm. You know, like, well, I'm done. That's true. They never true. think about doing that. Yeah. Once you're in, you stay in. As a musician, like, I wouldn't, I would never retire. I mean, I, I have. I already did. I have. I'm retired. Mm. But, but you would never. No, I wouldn't think about it. Yeah. Uh, okay. As a musician who actually like experienced any level of success whatsoever, I wouldn't think about it. Yeah. What's the least amount of success you could experience before you'd be like, I'm in it for life? Uh, anything. Yeah. Yeah. Just like <laughs> somebody Just anything. buys your record. Yeah, that would do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that'd be that'd be enough. I mean, I would say the, that uh, the proof is in the podding. <laughs> oh. 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 Uh, Let's 
had that last run. Okay. Right here. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, we keep doing this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we're still doing this, aren't we? Yeah. And I'd like Proving to think of us as being the divas of the podcasting realm. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I have the looks, right? And you have the voice. Uh huh. Yeah. Imagine my voice coming out of your looks. Uh huh. It would sound like this. Was it on this one? Yeah, go ahead. It would sound like this. Wow. Views, 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 oh, views, no, views, views, views. They're getting views. too many. Oh, no. No, They're too everywhere. many views. <laughs> I hate that. I hate when that happens. Yeah. It sucks. It sucks. Mm -hmm. It does. I also hate when YouTube takes an episode down because we sing part of a copyrighted song mm -hmm. which is obviously already going to happen for this episode it may have already happened in some of the stuff i've been doing exactly um i'm sure if mariah carey's lawyers mm. get a hold of this one mm. i'll be hearing from them again <laughs> yeah <clears throat> uh well yeah we know uh, we're very litigious. Yeah. So bring it on. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if Mariah wants to settle out of court, mm -hmm. I would be open to a run off, a sing off, mm -hmm. a arbitration with mm -hmm. vocals. Yeah. A, um, Re, you know, modern Christmas spirit off. I mm -hmm. could could do that with her. Yeah. Well, I don't think anybody can touch old Mariah when it comes to Christmas. Yeah. And, uh, well, let, you know, let's just start there with Divas and Us. Sure. I hate that song. All I Want for Christmas is You? Yeah. But that's because I hate all Christmas music. Hmm. I probably mm -hmm. would lose the modern Christmas off if that's what she... You would lose in the court of law, for sure. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. And for in a jury of your fans. Yeah. Um, I think not liking good. Christmas songs is probably pretty on brand for my f with my fans. Yeah. With the people who are into my shit. Okay. Um, how, what, how do they do that when it, if, like, Mariah Carey murdered somebody and was on a... Yeah. A, you know, what's it called? And we're a not saying that court? she did. No. Um, but well, if... No. Uh, but if well. when she did that, when she did it... Mm -hmm. If she did it. If when Mariah Carey murdered that person that uh, she murdered, mm -hmm. when she did that, mm -hmm. how, how would the long arm of the law respond? Well, how would you avoid the jury being full of Mariah heads? Oh... Yeah. Like, have you heard her music? Do you like it? Okay, next next juror, you're dismissed. Right. Because, like, even I would have to be like, well, I've heard that Christmas song. I don't like that song. But I think I could be impartial as be like, it relates killer. to the She's murder. She's killer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. been killing my eardrums for a while, right, no. Your Honor? Your Honor. Your Honor. Your Honor. Did you hear what I said? Wow. <laughs> Uh, but she is guilty of murder. I mean, she did it. Yeah. She. Uh, so who's your favorite diva? <laughs> yeah. Well. Okay. <laughs> um. So. A diva, not all, all divas are, uh, female pop singers. But not all female pop singers are divas. Is we're gonna agree with that square not a rectangle right? yeah yeah Nora Jones is not a diva mm -mm. is she really she's not really pop either no she's um she is the epitome of jazz oh, yeah. <laughs> really? if you're talking jazz it does not get better than Nora 
Who's a pop singer who's not a diva? You gotta back uh, up your yeah. So like thesis. Olivia Rodrigo, not a diva, right? <clears throat> Give her time. Mm, I'm not familiar enough with okay with Olivia. I like some of her tunes, but if we're talking strictly divas, strictly divas, order now one compact disc <laughs> with all your favorites, 1999, featuring no Olivia Rodrigo songs, <laughs> absolutely none. But also featuring <laughs> Cher. Sure. Do you believe in that? I mean, I don't think it's all right Next song. Now. And but, Lady but Gaga. <laughs> we promise we're not going to sneak in any Olivia Rodrigo <laughs> songs, not <laughs> even for a <laughs> second. <laughs> don't be scared. You will not hear any of her. <laughs> also featuring Madonna. I don't, I don't even know what one of her songs are. Okay. Well, we gotta come, we'll come back to that. Uh, so, I liked a lot of those Lady Gaga songs when they were happening. Sure. Poker Face is cool. Poker Face. I'm going to ignore that one, but let's do the one that I did. Poker Face. Yeah, and then I'll add the. The uh, mu- uh, instrumental accoutrement to the song as well. Right there. Yeah. So let's hear those together. Let's hear the song Poker Face. Yeah, and I like this. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I like Bad Romance even more. Mm, yeah. That yeah, I like really. Bad Romance. That is a legitimately good song. I thought that all, was her best one. All humor aside, we're jokers here and we say things that make people laugh uncontrollably all the time. But Yeah, some of the things that we've said on this show were f- just for humor mm-hmm. but um, I genuinely like the song Bad Romance and Mariah Carey did murder somebody by shoving candy canes so far up their nose that it killed them <laughs> whoa <laughs> and both those things are just true so I'll see you in Candyland <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, and you know I guess let's just talk about Lady Gaga uh, sure. I mean, I guess she probably is my favorite of the divas. Diva, I would have to agree. Sing, huh? Is not divaing. Uh huh. Is not really, you know, my the style of music that I listen to. I agree. I would have to agree with that. Yeah. And uh, Lady Gaga appealed to me because she seemed like she was doing it a little different, and also had like kind of a. A new David Bowie-ishness that she mm. was capitalizing on. Mm-hmm. Yes, very much. But a big um, now, what I mostly know Lady Gaga as is that she does a, a commercial for migraine medicine. Really? And just oh, yeah, like that's right. put out a bunch of uh, albums with Tony Bennett and stuff. Really? Yeah, and it's just like she mm. went from being how old is she? Maybe 38. maybe forty, but she her career is at the stage of if she was in her fifties. She just skipped decades and yeah. went straight to like Las Vegas residency <laughs> yeah, and right. doing fucking migraine commercials. Yeah, it's like Gaga. I Why? she well that's about we were talking about earlier about how they don't retire. That's about she's kind of it's a soft retire. I think she for, like for Gaga, but she like retired herself. <laughs> She was like at yeah, the oh top. Yeah. She was mm-hmm. at the top of the pops. Top of pop gobga. Uh huh. Gaga top of pop gob gob. Yes. Gob gob pop of top. Yeah, gob gob pop. And then she said, you know what? I'm I'm in my seventies now. <laughs> yeah. Call me Dolly. Yeah. Have you seen the uh viral video of Kanye talking about Lady Gaga about how she sells cameras? 
He's, he's it's not like she and she's selling cameras because of her name. What the fuck does she know about cameras? And he's like, I like Gaga <laughs> in the way he <laughs> says it. Just like, Gaga. Well, you know, I disagree with some of Kanye's thoughts. And I won't say which ones I agree or disagree with. He has he has recently said some off color remarks. Yes. He I've has. noticed. But but one thing I will go ahead and say I disagree with is that Lady Gaga is selling cameras because of her name. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's talking about. Gaga and camera? Is that <laughs> Gaga. Gaga Kamara. It's just... They're not close. You know, people see a thing, they're like, that's a thing. I got money. I'll put money. I'll do that. Yeah. That's all they need. Is that what she needs? <sighs> Is Lady Gaga fueled by the green machine? Oof. Nah, certainly not. Or does she just... Uh, want to get rid of her migraines and let other people know how to do that. Probably. And she had fun hanging out with Tony Bennett, rest in peace, who seemed like a jovial fellow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're all entitled to a bit of joviality. Sure. I would hang out with Tony Bennett if he were alive and wanted to hang out with me. He could be a guest. Yes. But missed opportunity. Yeah. We blew it. Too busy thinking about what my name, what product my name sounds the most like, so I can sell that. Because that's Kanye West, for example, sells vests, mm. and I won't buy one. Yeah, because of some of the things he said about Lady Gaga's name rhyming with camera. Yeah, I won't support that. Mm -hmm. Who's your most hated? <laughs> <laughs> Who's your most hated diva? <laughs> Um, I don't know that I hate any of them. Come on, let's get come on, let's get dirty, man. Give me the fucking. Oh, I'd say it. Gods, I would say man. it. I'm not scared. I mean, I'm a little scared of having candy canes shoved up my nose until dead, and uh, based just solely on the fact that I would have to hear that Christmas song more than I'd like. It probably is Mariah Carey, but I got nothing mm -hmm. against the rest of her career. I don't know nothing about it. And I once saw a uh, clip of her. She was on Billy on the Street. Mm. And she was fine, you know. Mm -hmm. Of course, Billy's doing most of the work, but that's yeah. always going to be true. Yeah. But she had a ring on her finger that was a butterfly that when she went like with that with her finger, oh, yeah. the butterfly's wings flapped. Uh -huh. And she said, I got this because it's cool and because I love butterflies. And I was like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> it wow. is cool. <laughs> yeah. So... <laughs> Who's your best and worst? Who do you love in Diva? I agree with Gaga being my fave. Gaga gets Metaphiles full seal. Mm -hmm. It's rare and prestigious. Not many people get it. Uh -uh. Um, as far as the one I hate the most, <sighs> it's tough. I know there's one that I really, really hate. Yeah. Yeah, just like wake up hating her. Well, a lot of their names are going to be mentioned in the next segment, so when you hear it... I'll fly into a rage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just start smashing and bashing and... Sure. Thrashing. <laughs> <coughs> uh, so, okay, we don't listen to their music, but who do we think is just like... We like them as a, just a media personality. Well, yeah. well, we just I mean, yeah, that's what a diva is, right? You know, she's not yeah. like a, well, they, also, Gaga, go, they yeah. also sing. Yeah, yeah. See, I can't give it to Gaga because she just what? has like, I feel like she gave up. Oh, she got Gaga up. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, knowing almost nothing about her, yeah. Rihanna seems like a cool chick. Yeah. Seems like she'd be cool to hang with. Yeah, I saw. I watched her on Hot Ones. She was. What's, oh, <laughs> that's where they eat wings. Yeah. She, uh, yeah, Rihanna's really cool. I yeah, I would agree with Rihanna. She seems absolutely. like cool. She's cool as hell. Yeah. Yeah, and we'd love to have her on the show. Oh. <sighs> and she doesn't even have to eat anything. Wings that are hot. 
Right. Uh, hot sauce. She doesn't have to eat anything that's hot. You're so right. if she likes being on shows, mm-hmm. she can be on this one, and she does not even have to hurt her mouth to do it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Meta ones. Just call it that. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so the name of this show from now on is Meta Ones. Mm hmm. Meta Ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. What else about Divas and Us? Nothing, right? <laughs> Not a damn thing. Yeah, all right. Welcome to Leia Players. This is the part of the podcast where I sing. <clears throat> Uh, no, I'm just joking. Oh, wow. uh, this is part of the podcast where I pitch a podcast idea that might be better than this podcast, potentially. Uh, tentatively. Uh, this week is going to be the Ramble Pod. So here we go, episode one. Hey guys, welcome to episode one of the Ramble Pod. This is our first episode airing now. I don't know how many we're really going to do. I hope five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen four it could be fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty we could do as many episodes as we're trying to do i don't at this point i want to do a lot but that's remains to be seen maybe i'll lose steam a little bit further down the road i don't really know you know it's a tough racket because you got to just like put in the work my guest is zach and uh he's uh he, he likes doing podcasts, too. He wants to start his own podcast, but that's a that's for a different episode, really. Uh, I hope you're having a good time. So far, I know the podcast hasn't really been going for a long time, but uh, we'll get into the subject. I'm going to stay back on, like, announcing the subject. Just, yeah, to give you a chance to, like, introduce yourself and uh, say hi to the, to the fans. I don't know how many fans are watching. I don't know how many fans are going to watch. You know, I don't know if I'm going to have any fans at all. They might enjoy just having something to listen to in the background. You know, you don't want to have to pay attention to every single little aspect of every word that somebody says on a podcast. We know that. You know that. We. So anyways, uh, I'm going to ask you how you're doing. I hope it's. I hope it's good. But on this podcast, it's okay if you're not doing good. And it's okay if you even don't want to be here. But I hope you're glad to be here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this time now to get to uh, asking you about how you're feeling and how how you feel about being on this podcast. I'm very curious about your thoughts about how you think this podcast will go. As I was just talking about a little bit earlier, I I don't uh, foresee. I can't. I, I it's just a crapshoot. So how are you doing? Hopefully good. <laughs> I think everybody watching agrees with me there. So I'm just going to kick it over to you. And uh, is your, I hope your mic's... I hope it's doing good. We did a mic check, man, but it might it might have fucked up since then, to be totally honest. I've, as I've said, this is our first episode. So uh, just whenever you're ready. And it doesn't have to be anything specific that you talk about. It could be... You could just say hi, you know. Uh, I'm going to wait to to do the topic, as I said, until you're done introducing yourself. So no pressure as far as like what you're actually going to say and uh, what your thoughts on nothing are because I haven't even told you what the topic is. So um, without further ado, um, let's get into the nitty gritty of this thing. Let's start the actual episode. And uh, again, I just hope everybody's ready for whatever's gonna happen. So, I'm a little bit nervous, but we'll just, we'll just get right into it, I guess. Sometimes you just gotta like jump into something. So welcome to the podcast. It's my first podcast. <laughs> welcome, how are you doing? Are you glad to be here? Hi. Hey, not much to say. That's okay. First guest, you know, probably, I don't know. Have you been on many podcasts? I haven't been on many podcasts. This is my first one. I haven't been on a guest. I just started one. Not because I, like, need to be on a podcast. Like, nobody will be, uh, nobody will invite me as a, as a guest on their podcast. That didn't happen. So, how are you, how are you doing? 
as just a random guest on the Ramble Pot. Good. I'm good. That's uh, it. Just you're good. I, I'm doing well. I, I, I I'm doing well too. You know, I fucking woke up and I had this thing going on with my stomach, and uh, I'll spare you a bit of details. But I woke up at about 5 a.m. and my stomach felt like it was full of olive oil, like extra virgin olive oil. You know, and you feel you feel that first thing you wake up, you know you're not gonna have a very good day, and you're gonna have to like do all kinds of stuff in the bathroom that everybody, you know, normal people hope they don't have to do. So, anyways, that's when I like sat up, and it felt worse, right? You ever have that happen? Next thing I know, I'm in the toilet. And that's a story for another day. I'm going to leave this on a cliffhanger. Thanks for watching Ramble Pod. We enjoy doing it. Did you enjoy doing it, Zach? Um, yes. Thank you for being a guest. Thank you for watching. That's it. Watch our sponsors. They're going to come up. They're going to be uh, selling shit like uh, shit like it's going to help your dick out and your balding, ugly head and uh, your. Uh, Bad breath medication is too as well. I think for him has that kind of shit, and uh, I know what that's like. You know, I know what that's like. It just doesn't work down there, and you're just you're you're out to dry. But for him, you know, they got your back, and uh, so our sponsors are going to be coming up after. After basically after I push the stop button on the on the, the stop recording button on my computer. Thanks for having me. All right, bye. All right, that's it. That's that's wow. the ramble pod. Do you think that would be a good podcast? Um, I mean, I definitely want to uh, get the end of the cliffhanger. Tune where the host, next week. Where the host had to, <laughs> was going to have diarrhea. It seemed like I, I do need to hear the end of that. <laughs> so they've got me hooked. You didn't want to get into the, the details there, but I guess you kind of did. Well, I don't know that there was enough time on that one. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it's only a three-minute long podcast. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Not a great guest, I will say. Well, you know, as a podcast guest, as we both know, you just kind of got to muscle your way in there and talk about Bitcoin and things like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He really, like, didn't uh, talk much, the guest. Hmm. That's okay. Sort of, like, don't really know anything more about him than when it started. A model guest. <laughs> <laughs> For such a podcast as that. Mm-hmm. You know what the fucked up... Like we, everybody, we all know somebody like that. That they are that podcast, you know. And you're just sitting there, like, yeah. Sometimes I feel like it's me. Yeah. Okay. Think about it. Sometimes, sometimes I feel like I'm the ramble guy. Mm. Oh. No, you're not. We'll be right back. We're bad You know we are you know we already got a beat on there. You know, I think you're gunning for spots and the beats me. <laughs> That's not how it works. With pu 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 as I was doing it, I was a little bit like he's gonna say it. And yeah. that did excite me. Yeah. But I, I wouldn't say the that. sonar there. You gotta be <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I think it kind of happened midstream. Mm. hmm But I, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not trying to disrespect the beats me. You know what didn't happen midstream? What? The Constitution. True. They, 
Yeah, they weren't writing something else and then decided that this should be the Constitution. Oh, mm. oh, oh my God. <laughs> we the people. All right, what else? <laughs> okay, Jay. We're going to learn about some divas. And uh, I think the general theme of the research this time is the divas. They're not quite just like us. <laughs> That's a fair statement. Yeah. So. But we're like them. Um, before we get to that, just that uh, the word diva comes from the Latin for goddess. Of course, it was originally used to refer to opera stars. For primarily. god goddess. <laughs> for god godness. Uh, and the male version of a diva would be a divas. Oh. Ah. So Nobody ever says that. Shut up, divas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we will begin with Taylor Swift. <laughs> Taylor Swift is the 2,331st richest person in the world. There are only 2,330 people richer than her. A lot more than I would think. I would have put her at like 50, number 50 maybe. Yeah. In music, she's like the fourth or fifth. That's equally shocking. I would think she would be the the fucking diva's heels. I don't know who are the <laughs> the huh? You know, like the knee, the bee's knees. Oh. Cast pajamas, the diva's heels. The diva's cameras. <clears throat> yeah. Who are the uh, who are the three top music people? Well, Jay Z is. Richer than Taylor Swift is. Okay, that makes sense. Um, oh, Kanye is too. Isn't Kanye, he? I believe, is below her. Uh huh. Okay. After this, after the year of Taylor that we just experienced, wasn't it kind the of the year? Wasn't it kind of the oh, year of Taylor? Taylor, <laughs> yes. Don't you, don't you feel like it was kind of the year of Taylor? Don't you think it was like the year? Don't you think of it was Taylor? Like, it absolutely yeah. was. They say that it's the year of the dragon, but I think it's really it was the year of the year of Taylor. It's the year of Taylor. Uh, I can tell you one person that's richer than Taylor Swift. Name one. Oh, yeah? Name every person that's richer than Taylor Swift. Okay. Um, Jeff Bezos. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Some guy from France who started something called LHVM. He's the number one today. This was, by the way, it was from Forbes.com's um, Daily Billionaire, who is Daily Who is Billionaire's updates. The updates Daily. at 5 p.m. every day based on stock market. Wow. Uh, Rihanna beat Taylor. It's like the daily shit bucket on everybody else's head. <laughs> yeah. Just pull the string at 5 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> Here's over 2,000 people that you hate or should, and you're right if you do, and you're allowed to. <laughs> Rihanna, who we think is so cool, Yeah. she's richer than Taylor Swift. She's that 2,081. Is, see, that is also shocking. But she, uh, Taylor has done it strictly music. Rihanna has extra cash because she started a cosmetics line. <sighs> so she's making money that way, too. Eat, did you eat too hot of a wing and your mascara got runny? Not a problem. It's not too late to apply the perfect makeup. Mm -mm. So Taylor is that... Rich. It's a reference to uh, Timbaland's Too Late to Apologize. Yeah, not a diva. Right, but Rihanna was on it. He perhaps is a diva. Mm, no. I don't know. But she was on that. Yeah, she was featured on it. Okay. Anyways, sorry to interrupt. That's okay. It was about divas, <laughs> ultimately. Yeah. Uh, at the 2014 Grammys, Taylor Swift... Uh, they were reading the nominees and they announced the winner and Taylor Swift made a very excited face because she thought she had won because she misheard and she thought that when the person who was reading it said what they actually said she thought they said Taylor Swift mm -hmm. and this is sort of like Gaga camera mm -hmm. the person who actually won and I want us to try and see if we can make this sound like it says Taylor Swift sure it was for album of the year. 
Daft Punk won. <laughs> and she heard the words Daft Punk and thought she heard the words Taylor Swift. And she went, <gasps> And the winner is... Daft Punk! Daft <laughs> Punk! Daft Punk! Daft Punk! It has an F in it. That's about it. That's about all. Barbara Streisand. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what does she do? What does Barbara Streisand do? Yeah. Well, I can she tell you what she that. does. Was she a deep? She does it all, man. She's one of only 25 people in the world who has ever got an EGOT. Oh, wow. That's what she does. Damn everything. Yeah. Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony. She does it all. Whoa. She also cloned EGOT. her dog twice. <laughs> <sighs> They're not just quite just like us. She had a dog that was 14 and she cl made two clones of it. And when she was asked about the clone dogs, she said they have different personalities from the main dog. Couldn't clone the personality. It's like a shitty Sunday paper comic. This clown doesn't have the same personality. Yeah. Like Dilbert says that. <laughs> But Barbara Streisand is Dilbert in real life. <laughs> this summer, from director, I don't know, Steven Spielberg. Mm. Barbara Streisand is Dilbert. He's not the right choice. Who should direct Dilbert? Hmm. I mean, do we want it to be gritty Dilbert? <laughs> Christopher Nolan. Yeah. Directs Dilbert. I have to get this email sent out. Ah, oh, damn it, I'm late for the meeting. If you work in an office, you'll get it. <laughs> ah, my, my tie won't stay down. <laughs> Aretha Franklin, the queen of soul. Oh, yeah. One of the ultimate divas. Uh -huh. She has an asteroid named after her. Eh. Asteroid 249516, Aretha. Which, uh, yeah, I knew she picked a different name. A lot of celebrities do that. <laughs> she changed it from 249516 for show business. <laughs> uh, it is in the constellation Cetus beyond Mars. It orbits past Mars. There's some kind of joke in there. Probably. That's what I was hoping. Let's pitch it over to a different podcast. Yep. Alley oop. <laughs> <laughs> That is funny. Oh, way to go. Um, my favorite murder. Good job over there. Well, Joe Rogan, you said something funny for the first time. What's that, my favorite murder? You want us to make a joke about Mariah Carey murdered somebody? We already did, ladies. <laughs> oh. Take the rest of the day off. <laughs> uh, she also sang American, America the Beautiful at WrestleMania 3 in uh, 1987, I think she it was. Sang. America the Beautiful at one of the least beautiful events happening in America. Yes, definitely. That was the year that Hulk Hogan defended his title from Andre the Giant. Mm. But before any of that could happen, Aretha Franklin was there <laughs> playing piano for a bunch of drunk hillbillies. And Aretha she was almost late to it because she got stuck in traffic. Oh, God. Aretha the Giant? No, Andre Franklin. Uh. I don't know. So, the Queen of Soul and Hulkamania. They're like... Listen, Andre, Aretha is stuck in traffic. She's late. You're going to have to sing the national anthem. America <laughs> the beautiful. <laughs> Adele. Mm. Hello. Hello. I'm going to put that hello that I did. Okay. My, sans, sans are, it's a funny joke, but... Hello. <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't there, so happy with it, but... But I liked your hello. I agree. It should be on the beats Thank me. You. This is a very obviously musical beats me mm. as it should. As it should be. be. Uh, she is the most certified diamond artist, having debuted in the 21st century. Nobody has had more albums go diamond, which is beyond even platinum. Get the fuck out. She's so popular everywhere, but she's mm. especially, of course, is popular in the UK because she's British. Who is? Adele is British. Oh, yeah. I so do you want to say hello again, knowing that? Hello. There you go. 
And uh, <laughs> you can know for sure that she's British because on her backstage rider, she needs to have six uh, large mugs, six, some non-organic honey, and six metal teaspoons. She has to drink six cups of tea before she can play because she's British. I have to drink six cups of tea more times a day. You want to hear me sing, do you? <laughs> well, if I want to sing, I need six mugs worth in it. <laughs> right, Madison Square Garden do not look like much to me, it is. <laughs> I'll be rolling in the deep if I get an Earl Grey first six times. And we're looking off stage and in a pint. And that's all there is needed for Adele. <laughs> Saw that she likes tea, knew we had a thing. Yep, big mistake, Adele. Beyonce. Beyonce. I mean, do you even need a credit for Beyonce? She's Beyonce. But in yeah. case you did need one, she's got 32 Grammys, which is the most anybody has. Hogging them. Yeah. Yeah. Stealing them Leave from some Taylor Swift and Daft Punk. She probably has a Grammy drawer, just <laughs> knocking around in there. Yeah. Where, hey, I need to find my Grammy from 2016. Can you check the drawer? Uh, I'm Beyonce. This is what I sound like. <laughs> no Daft Punk can't have one. Uh, she takes her own toilet seat on tour with her and it drives around in a golf cart. I mean, it doesn't drive, but it gets driven. Because Beyonce knows what toilet seat she likes to sit on. And just because she's in fucking your town... <laughs> Doesn't mean she's got to sit on the kind of toilet seats you sit on. What are you, a road manager? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm willing to take the job. Listen, just because she's in fucking your town <laughs> doesn't mean. <laughs> Rihanna, remember her? Oh, yeah. We think she's cool. I love her. She's got Guinness World Record for number one, most number one singles in a year in the United States and most number one digital sales in the United States, among other ones that you she know, has. You know, she she's a bit of a sleeper, to yeah. be honest. Uh-huh. You never think, a giant, mega, super fucking huge, oh my God star. Yeah. Because again... Then Rahana, you know... <laughs> she's cool. Yeah. She knows we know it, but she yeah. that doesn't mean she's not going to go eat some wings. She t she tells her marketing team she's like, listen, don't make it. I know I'm like the best. I'm doing the best out of everybody. Yeah. Ugh. Excuse me. As Rihanna, I have to burp. Whatever. It's my writer. <laughs> you don't have to blab about this to everybody and like make commercials and stuff and give me like spots on TV shows. I don't want to do any of that fucking shit. Mm -mm. No. I want to cool. eat, burp. I, I want to eat, burp. See how hot the wings can get for me. Yeah. Uh, hang out. Uh, with the Black Panther. Be richer than Taylor Swift. Be richer than her. Hang out with Seth Rogen some of the time. Ugh. She was in that movie, I think. Where it's uh. the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> A misstep. He didn't think that was <laughs> <A> cool. <laughs> I thought it. she was fine. I'm not a huge Seth Rogen fan. Uh-oh. That's a whole other thing. But guess what else, <laughs> Rihanna, who's so cool? Guess what else? Huh. At the age of 11, she went through Barbadian military training. Oh. Wait, Barbadia? She's from Barbados. Oh. Also, uh, she pronounces her name Rihanna, not what? Rihanna. We have but every radio DJ is like, Rihanna. Rihanna. <laughs> that Rihanna. She can't eat hot wings. No way. <laughs> I don't believe she could even take two levels of heat. Did you see that podcast with the wings? They're so hot and wait, that Ray Horner. Yeah, anyway, we're going to keep playing all the hits that we want to play. We only play the songs we like. And if you don't like it, too bad. Here she is. Ray Horner. <laughs> <laughs> with me, Murray. <laughs> and my co-host, the douche. <laughs> no, no, I can't. It can't be the douche. That was a Parks and Recreation joke. It's Murray and oh. Murray and the Bobcat. How about that? No, that's Bobcat Goldthwait. Hold on, Ramble Pod. Oh, Murray and. I think you just don't get on with the Murray facts. and the skis. Okay. Okay. Skis? Here we are. It's Murray and the skis playing all the rock and roll. <laughs> 
playing all the rock and roll too. And next up is Gaga. Oh, Gaga. <laughs> I hope it's one without migraines. That lady, Gaga. She wore meat. <laughs> what a character. <laughs> All right. What is she doing? The okay. final entry into the that they're not quite like us. <laughs> we have a lot of the segment left. Uh, so we'll fill a little bit of time with this because well, you I can help. Let's see Adele wearing meat. Okay. Hmm. Gonna hold so, all the jokes there. Uh huh. Just gonna refrain from all the jokes. Oh yeah. We already That's, did all the British jokes. I yeah. got my yaws out. So uh, on our last episode, you said that Madonna is kind of nothing. I will stand by my statements. You will stand I did by say it. that. And I said I don't think that's true, but I didn't really know how to back it up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let somebody else do it for me. Uh. This Reddit? is written by is Reddit, is somebody. Is it a Reddit post? No, it's from the Denver Post for some reason. But it just was a good summation. Uh, to some, Madonna is a divine creation, an otherworldly gift to the masses in the form of an incessantly morphing <laughs> entity who's been steering fashion, music, cosmetic, production, lifestyle, sex, and religious trends for the last 25 years, ever since the release of her self-titled breakthrough album in 19, uh, early 1980s. Uh, even her critics can't deny the scope of the f- of her influence. I deny the scope of her influence. Uh, she is one of the best-selling female artists in the world, and she has been... Uh, everybody cares about her a whole lot. So you know one article? From the Denver Post. <laughs> the most trusted. Uh, yeah, straight from the slopes. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure Madonna was a huge, huge deal. But yeah, in the but Denver Post. You know what else is a huge, huge is. deal is is fidget spinners. Oh, Madonna is a fidget spinner. Oh, it's that's you said it. Well, here's what else she is. She's the queen of pop. Everybody Madonna calls her is? that. Yep, that's what Get she's done. called. She started around the same time as Michael Jackson and Prince and stuff, and she was she was one of she was up there. That Madonna. But then guess what else, Jay? You probably knew this. Somewhere around the mid-1990s, she decided she was British, and she talked in a British accent for about 20 or 30 years. (laughs) And she was so sure that she was British that she married a British guy. guy 20 years later, she was like, I love love being married. And, uh, you know, forget it. I I like being married. This is my normal voice. Just fuck it. Yeah. She got divorced from Guy Ritchie, mm-hmm. British film director. They, she was started talking British s- in, like, mid-'90s. They got married in 2000. They got divorced in 2008, and then she stopped being British. <laughs> she, she got her fill. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, that makes sense, guys. I was about to say, I think, you know what? Guy Ritchie's kind of a fucking dork. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry, but I just... I mean, think- a dork that married Madonna. Did you ever marry Madonna, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever marry Madonna, Jay? <laughs> I've only known you for so long, and you weren't married to Madonna for any of that time. But maybe before then, I don't know. Maybe you were married to Madonna. Listen, man, uh, I know you like Guy Ritchie. We can just go on with the episode. With I mean, the, I like, like the movie Snatch. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, I mean, it just I, makes sense that she's like, okay, yeah, I'm cool with the whole British shit. Yeah, I just I never heard Madonna talking like you, ever. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> huh. Yeah. All right, uh, all so right. Jay, that's all the ones that I have. All the facts. Yeah, and you know it's not because I like gave up or I was being lazy or something. I had to really dig around and find all these pieces of hot dirt. <laughs> yeah. It was kind of tough work. So for all the rest that I have written down is just the names of some other divas, and we can talk about them. Sure. Not to mention every half bit, uh, half bit, you know, columnists or you know, just as just jumping on it for for every little scrap, like sure. like starved zombies. You know. Yeah, and a lot of it is like you got to wade through. You have to wade through a whole thing to find out that Beyonce takes her toilet seat on tour. Mm. And, that makes sense. And then after they say that, they're like, but guess what else? 
Jennifer Lopez likes a certain kind of flowers in her dressing room. Isn't that fucking diva too? It's like, no, that's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Flowers are pleasant and appropriate yeah. for an inside interior decoration sure. choice. So here's some other divas, and we can maybe we have stuff to say about them, maybe we don't. In no particular order, Dolly Parton. Hmm, she's great. I like Dolly Parton. Yeah, hard yeah. not to like. How impossible? Yeah, not to like. She's great. Yeah, you know who doesn't like her is like Yankees. You know, the baseball team. Yeah. Well, then too, because they are Yankees, but every other Yankee too. We're talking North and the Mason Dixon line. The Yankees are Yankees. Yeah. Yeah. Yankees are Yankees. Dolly is great. She teaches kids how to read. Too. Britney Spears. Bless her heart. Sure. Bless her. I hope she's, she doesn't deserve any of that. I hope she's doing fine. Yeah. After the all that. <sighs> Tina Turner. She was in a Mad Max movie. Yeah. She's just like a. Yeah. Mariah Carey, murderer. Olivia Newton John made the list. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whitney Houston. Mm, yeah. Hey, come Hell on. Hell of a voice. Yeah. Indisputable. Be crazy. Pink. She's just kind of been holding on to her little, her little yeah. piece of the small s- slice of the pie. Like, like this, like this thin of yeah. the diva pie. Here's what Pink did to 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 get that pie and keep that pie. <laughs> okay. You tell me what Pink did. <laughs> <laughs> We're telling them. Uh, that's right. She made sure that Avril Lavigne was gone. Thank you, Pink. She made sure that uh, everybody else like that was gone. Thank you, Pink. And she said, I'm the diva that's for everybody, Hot topic uh, <laughs> I'm the goth diva. I'm the punk right. one. Mm. I'm so cool. Yeah. Okay. But meanwhile, does she eat? How hot did her hot wings get? I don't think we know. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Probably too hot for her to eat. Yeah. Shania Twain. Tania Schwain? Tania. T- Tania Schwain. T- Tanya Schwang. Ah, Tanya Schwang. Tanya Schwang. Tanya Schwang. She. Uh, she feels was like, like kind a of a woman. She was like a pseudo. Wasn't she like kind of a pseudo country? She was pop country. Pop country, that's right. Uh, that Shania Twain. 90s pop country. Which I know some yeah. people have nostalgia for, not me. <laughs> no, not me. Cher. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Katy Perry. Sure. Yeah. Nicki Minaj was listed. Minky Minaj. Minky Minjin. Who am I? Let's go to the beach. Huh? Minky Minaj. Uh, Minky Minjaj. Who am I? Let's go to the beach. Is that what you just said? It's a famous uh, vine. Oh. Clip. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um. Mm. You know, <laughs> what I'm realizing is uh, it's a little hard to really s- to really stake a s- truly lasting claim in, in the in the diva landscape. It's really hard to plant your flag and to have it standing proud and loud and truly remarkable for you know just, uh, against the test of time and not not see it get frayed and uh, resemble uh, near indistinguishably all the other diva flags that are yeah. That are just throughout Diva Land. You just look over, you know. Well and maybe that's tainted by by time, but I don't Aretha Franklin's flag is is just you know, it's, it's just there flawless. It's it's like past Mars. <clears throat> yeah. But yeah. I don't know, it feels like it's kinda hard to stand out as Diva. Well to, test time. to take it back to uh, Maybe it's maybe it's just because of me, but to, I think it is. So okay. I think to take it back to, to old WrestleMania, Aretha Franklin's favorite sporting event, <laughs> uh, you know, all wrestlers sort of just flip and toss and 
But some people <laughs> say, well, I hate Ric Flair. Mm -hmm. Some people say, well, I love Diamond Dallas Page. Wow. And I think, you know, you, you pick your diva and that's, and that's your one. Huh. So you're talking about... And nobody likes two of them. The D <laughs> nobody does. You're talking about the DWF, the Diva Wrestling Federation. Yes, I am. And we can talk about who would win in a minute. Okay. Uh, but first, just the last couple names on the list. Janet Jackson. And, of course, Celine Dion. She was like the purest diva in that. It was just all about her singing, right? Yeah. Am, she, I, am I remiss? No, no. I think uh, she would be the closest to the original definition of the opera singer as the diva. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, exactly. But, of course, I saved Celine Dion for last because it brings up a question you and I have been asking and debating for years. I will always love you. Okay, good. We'll be right back. No, no. The, of course, the question, which we would ask people on the streets. Oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> and I want our fans to help us out. The ultimate, we still have never gotten the answer. Ultimate place to ask it, for sure. Celine Dion, objectively very good singer. We're not, nobody can deny that. But the question is... Is Celine Dion cool? And I'm convinced no. And you're convinced yes. And we asked all these people on the streets of Nashville, mm -hmm. standing outside of the bar we were hanging out at, mm -hmm. and we, we didn't get the answer. Mm -hmm. And we may never get the answer. People are very divided about, the, about their thoughts on it. Yeah. It's and always, uh, yeah, or no, what's up? No, oh, no, please. Oh, that's, that's about it. I was just rambling again. Mm -hmm. Well, is Celine Dion cool? We'll be right back. Hey, all you dum-dums, it's Murray and the Skis. We're back here playing only the rockinest and rollinest things there are. You just heard Led Zeppelin's Stairway to Heaven. That's quite a song. Uh, that way, Horner. All right. It's time. Why, divas? Entertainment. Yeah. People like hearing these ladies sing. They sing mm. very well. Mm. Not for me. Usually. Ooh, uh, shit. You know, <laughs> oh. Not usually, mostly. Not my style. Sure. But I respect not it. Not like this. Ooh. Hello. Um, I, can, I can agree with that. Yeah, but Lady Gaga had some tunes I liked. Uh, I like that song Umbrella by Rihanna. That's a good one. Others are fine, too. Uh, yeah? Yeah. Certainly not going to sit here and disparage the diva. There's no doubt um, they're very skilled. Not mm -hmm. Ashley Simpson. Or no, wait, I'm sorry, Jessica Simpson. No, wait, yeah, no. Ashley Simpson. She tried to be a diva. I don't think she made it. She didn't and Ashley stuff. Simpson is one of the people that Pink uh, redacted. Mm. For sure. Uh oh. <laughs> Miley does is Miley a diva? Mm. I think she's playing diva. You know what I mean? Oh no! You can't. You can't do that. You got to be a diva. Miley's just playing it. And um, you know, diva Sorry, was a Miley. bad word for oh. a while. To who? Well, because you think of a like diva behavior. A diva is like hard to work with and stuff like that. But we don't mean it that way. The modern world does not mean it that way. It's a, it's a that's a facetious reference to what we're really talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just let that be known. You know, maybe they have like a diva complex 
different because it's a different kind of DV complex. It's for it's because they're divas and mm -hmm. they're like, I am not going to be that diva. That's the diva. Yeah. And so they are purposely just like, yeah, that's fine. I'll I take just whatever. I'm and I'm not that kind of diva. I just do need Fiji water specifically that is yeah. at 65 degrees exactly, mm. or else I will not be performing. Mm. But it's not because I'm hard to work with. Or else I will be on stage. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But my fans love it when I pee on stage. That's mm -hmm. not a problem <coughs> at all. <laughs> Which of the ones on our G. G. list Allen, could get such away? A diva. <laughs> Which of the ones on, on that we've mentioned can could get away with that as being part of their act? <laughs> Is that like during a song they just let her rip? Some diva's done that at some point. Mm -hmm. I'm positive. But on maybe purpose, a lesser I'm known saying. one. On purpose, yeah, totally. That's happened. I think. Yeah, um, I want to say like Lady Gaga for sure. You know? Yeah, I think Rihanna. No. Taylor, no. No. Not even in this, which kind uh, of feels like the year of Taylor. If it I'm being really honest. does. I, I still don't think she could be partway through "Cruel Summer." I'm just like, and now. <laughs> Attention, everyone. I will. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't happen. Mm -mm. What else can't they do? Not much. So, why divas? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh. um, I heard a point be made that was not my point, somebody else's point. I'm stealing a point right now. That part of the reason that it sort of feels like the year of Taylor almost in a way to me um, is because she's probably the last one. And so the whole music industry is like, we got to we got to squeeze as much out of this sponge, not pee as we can. Because who's coming up? That's the next one. Hmm. Are we out of divas? Wow. Are we seeing diva Omega? Oh, But what happens when there's no divas? I don't know. Women won't sing anymore? Mm -hmm. Tonight on 60 Minutes, what happens when there's no divas? That's not going on the beats me. No. I know it's not. No. <laughs> I didn't want it to. I'm campaigning. <laughs> I'm not. So people just want to be entertained. And as a diva, you want to entertain people... In every way you possibly can. Yeah. And, and your personality and your attitude can be the most entertaining thing about you if you do it right. Definitely. And, you know, we could get a, into a whole thing about how uh, men that's, are, we're how doing men that are famous episode. and <laughs> things like that. But we're not going to. No. We're going to talk about peeing. <laughs> So that's why divas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the villain of the diva is PBS. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's right. And that's not to say that, you know, uh, I hate to keep saying it, but Rihanna, she might sit there. Say a girlfriend. And watch... An Attenborough special while she's eating, who knows how hot of wings? <laughs> I could find out, but I haven't seen it. <laughs> They're pretty hot. How hot did she get on there? <laughs> how many levels of uh, it are there? Well, this is part of the podcast. We're going to talk about somebody else's show. Yeah, I don't remember. I no, it's like twelve. It's a plate of twelve wings. Yeah. So 12 different hot sauces in ascending Scoville number. I don't, I certainly don't remember how many she ate. But you didn't walk away from it being like Rihanna cannot eat mm. very hot. No. <laughs> no. Good. I would hate to think that way of her. Yeah. 
Happy to report it's not the case. That's good. But she might also, while she's enjoying that, be she might watch PBS. She maybe Nova was on Sesame Street. Mm-hmm. Know thy enemy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's keep it going with the with the work. Um, Prayed purgatory for me. Purgatory, rather. I just don't like. I like the vocal performance the most. From a diva. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> kind of the main thing they do. I don't give a shit about... It. When it comes to divas, you like their, the singing that they do. It's a legitimate distinction, for sure. <laughs> uh, j- purely just the singing. And at that... As opposed to There's the a antics. lot of other singers that I enjoy a whole lot more. What's up? As opposed to the antics. The, the fucking antics, the peeing, the... <laughs> yeah. Just pure vocal performance. Yeah. If it was just that... Wouldn't be much of a diva. Who's a musician who you don't like their music and their singing, but you do like their antics? None of them. For me, it's the Oasis Brothers. Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> we, we know. We don't even have to get into it. But I could not care less about their music, but I love hearing them bitch at each other. Hmm. Who would it be for me? Mm. I really don't know. Okay, we can come back to it. Keith Moon. Oh. Blowing shit up. But you didn't like his drumming? Oh. Interesting. <laughs> okay. So if Keith Moon and Seth Rogen were in a band together, you would not probably buy those albums. Ugh. God. Let's see that band on the fact too. <laughs> <laughs> Look pretty good to me. Uh, okay, what's the lesson of this episode? That wrestling fans can enjoy Aretha Franklin. It's either that or... Yeah, no, that's... Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, of course, that Mariah Carey has committed murder. <coughs> Sub lesson. Yeah. Uh, Very what, important. Yeah. Um, the twist. Oh, th- by the way, I agree. Parade purgatory. Uh, or, you know, mm. for me, that. But I have friends who love the divas, and I want those friends to be happy. The divas can hang out up there in Pinewood Heaven. I mean... Who yeah, the want friends. Who? Let's make the friends happy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm trying to make sure we get the fucking people keep living in this fucking <clears throat> You did get on. That time. Whatever it was, I'm trying. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it takes. Soon be. Yeah. What's the twist? I believe in life after love. Hmm. That's a twist. In my, that's my submission. Yeah. Well, you would pr- you would have to believe in life after love, um, after having gone through that messy divorce with Madonna. Ooh. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I believe in that too. Oh, Cher. First artist, first recording artist to ever use auto tune. Mm, yeah. In that song. That was the first time ever. Pretty damn cool. And um, let's you and me be auto tuned right now. Okay. For the next two minutes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you believe in life after love? No, no, no.
No. <laughs> what? Huh? It goes like this. How does it go? What I did. <laughs> Listen back. Play it back. Go ahead. Oh, we're supposed to be auto standing. We are. Okay. Play it back. And I'll tune that too. Bow, bow, bow. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> This is a bad waste of auto tune time. I think it's perfect. I also don't don't know how long the two minutes last. I got, I looked, but I was busy singing. I got one. Okay. Metaphiles. Oh. Let me record it. Re record it. Metaphiles. Yeah. I want it to be auto tuned for the intro. Yeah. Metaphiles. Okay. I'm trying to get a good one. I, th I think those are good. I think that last one was good. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to do one just for safety. Do it. Metaphiles. <laughs> just for safety. Hell yeah. Um, probably the two minutes is up, I'm not sure. But that was definitely... We sounded great. Or we do still. For sure. Yeah. Um, so, we've talked about divas. We've done it. <clears throat> they sing good. Put it, put it in the bank. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, you know what? That's actually... I meant to say this, and so th this is a good opportunity to it. This is a good opportunity to it. That's true. So this page, <laughs> front and back, was about divas. This page accidentally was used for something else. And that's the end. Whoa. The first page of this notebook is bowling. This was a notebook I bought specifically <laughs> for Metaphiles research, and Whoa. it is now full, and uh, in a way that divas never do, yeah. this notebook is oh. now retired. <laughs> Whoa. That's intense. It has done great service to us and our show, and it goes in the Notebook Hall of Fame. Hell yeah. To soon be joined by other such notebooks. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling from glen to glen and on the mountain side. Oh, Danny boy. <laughs> so what should the next topic be? Yeah. Yeah, that. <clears throat> we have six minutes left. Which is a long time for that, but we'll get that nailed down, and then we'll have a little time to just fucking fuck around. Um, yeah, what is the next one? Nothing came up this episode that we were like, that should be one. Which is mm -hmm. luckily how it happened the last two times. Maybe luckily. I don't know that the experiment is working. I think so far we've picked two topics that we both sort of had to stretch. <laughs> no. I don't think stretch. Mm. How about notebooks? Oh. Hmm. I kind of like it. Hmm. It would be a sweet thing to do in honor of. Yeah. And I, uh, I think uh, stretching is good. I'm fine with stretching. Oh, yeah. Not physically, but as far as the topics go. Uh,. Just being, just being more loose with not our physical body ligaments, but our 
you know. Yeah. Comedy. Comedy. Yeah. Ligaments and tendons. Yeah. I, you know, it's good because the audience might not have known that we think Rihanna is cool. They might never have known that. That was important to me. Me too. That they knew that. Yeah. yeah. I feel so much better knowing that that's out there. <clears throat> um, and there's a lot that uh, they don't know about how we feel about notebooks. It's true. I can't remember the last time I was telling somebody how I feel about notebooks. I don't think you've ever told me. And, uh, You're gonna have to save it. I know, and uh, you know, I'd sure like to hear it. So, I say that's a winner. Hell yeah! Yeah, and that leaves us with three and a half minutes to just do whatever we want. <laughs> hmm. Huh. I need new beats me sound. Yeah. Oh, hold on, give me a second. How about, um... I'm gonna do the beat to the Lady Gaga song. I think that's in time. Mm -hmm. uh, just before you go full... Oh, shit. Uh, okay, what's up? Can you play just that drum beat? And I'm not trying to get this on there. I just want to do it over the, over the beat. Let's try it. Okay. So just just that one you just did, please. Oh wow! Ooh wow wow! Oh wow! Ooh oh wow! Yeah yeah! Wow wow wow! Oh wow! Ooh wow! Oh wow! Okay, I'll go there. Oh wow wow! Oh wow! I really do. Oh wow! Hopefully, YouTube doesn't make us take the video down. Yeah. Oh, I just remembered one Ding. more. Uh, Mariah Carey, when her child was born, hmm. twins, I think they were. Uh, she had a live version of one of her songs playing over the sound system because she <gasps> wanted her children to come into the world <gasps> hearing her singing, but also a round of applause so that the applause was like it was for them, but really it was for Whoa. her. And her right. husband is Nick Cannon. And I don't mm -hmm. know that we can who we say if this was about her or about him. But they named the kid Moroccan, one of them. And Nick Cannon said, we named it Moroccan because it kind of sounds like if you combine our two names. So continuing in the thread of people don't know what things sound like, to Nick Cannon and or Mariah Carey, Nick Cannon, Mariah Carey, thought that if you combine <laughs> their names, it sounds like Moroccan. <laughs> Moroccan. Moroccan. Like M O O, uh, M O R R O C A N. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, these stars, they're not quite like us. They don't know how, <laughs> what, they don't know what sounds are. <laughs> yeah. That's probably the episode title. These stars, they're not quite like us. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. You'd think for people who are in the business of making sound mm -hmm. that they would know that Gaga right. does not rhyme with camera. Daft Punk does not sound like Taylor <laughs> Swift. And Moroccan. <laughs> While a fine name does not sound like yeah. those things. Th yeah. Well, maybe we're wrong, you know? And this is the part of the sign off that I said. <laughs> this is the part of the sign off that I said. <laughs> Metafiles. Hello there. It's almost the end of the show, but not quite. I'm Zach Caffrey. I'm Jason Ford. And you just watched 
the episode of Metaphiles that you watched, and now you're seeing this, and it's the part where we say, it's like us, subscribe to us, comment about it. Get on our shit. Get on it. Build a little community with us, you're all mm. a part of it. Mm -hmm. It's a nice little world we have here. It's and, just a big ball of liking and subscribing and, and comments. <laughs> And it's wonderful to do. And you like doing it. You do. You do. <laughs> you do. Yeah, you do. And uh, this week, why not make a comment about... Bye. Bye-bye. That's a file. That's a file.